Hi everyone, it's Carrie, and today I'm going to show you some fun alternate ways to use the products in the Hedgehog Hollow July box. This is the Rick Rack border, and I just cut a piece of paper apart with it, and I have some post-it paper that I have cut a circle. Now here I'm going to start creating a scene, and so I'm using that Rick Rack die as a mask. Here I'm using a Distress Oxide ink in Broken China, and I'm just inking between the post-it tape and the Rick Rack die. And that is going to be our horizon line. So we've just created the ocean. Now I'm going to use the other side of that Rick Rack die mask that we created, and I'll cover up the ocean with the post-it tape. And I'm going to start creating our sunset. I'm starting with antique linen in the Distress Oxide ink and just inking up a right above the ocean there. Then I'll use that Rick Rack die to create a really fun look. I'm going to alternate between the antique linen and spiced marmalade to create this sunset. And I had in my mind that it would be nice and soft and just a beautiful sunset. And you'll see why later because I really want the sand of this card to just stand out and sing. To soften the look, I'll go back and use that antique linen, and look at that, it's starting to come together. So again, I'll use the antique linen for the next layer and next level, and then I'll switch again to the spiced marmalade, and I'll go back and forth. Now, it would also look very pretty if you wanted to use rainbow colors and go up the entire skyline using rainbow colors. And as I went further up, I thought, you know, this needs a little bit of pink because it is a sunset. But you'll see, see here, I softened it with that antique linen. And as I was considering adding that, I thought, yes, we need to throw in a little bit of worn lipstick here. So here's the Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide, and I'm going to do two layers on the top with the Worn Lipstick. You'll see that it just adds that beautiful sunset feel to the card. And it's still rather soft, not too much. And so here's the next layer, two layers of that. Now to add a little bit of depth and beauty and dimension, and also to kind of tone it down, I went back over it with the Spiced Marmalade, and you can see it does add a little bit of depth. Look at how beautiful that looks with that ocean. And here's the sun. I've just removed the post-it. To soften that just a little bit, I'll take a little of the antique linen and also ink it a little bit over the sun so it's not so harsh. Now for the fun part. I was completely inspired by that Rick Rack die that I wanted to create the sand in kind of that same pattern. So in order to do this, I'm going to ink up the background just a little with some antique linen and also with some vintage photo around the edges. This is just going to give it a little bit of color beneath the beautiful sparkling sand that we're going to add in just a minute. And here's what we're going to be using. If you are a regular subscriber to this box, you would get this bonus, which is the Nouveau Harvest Moon Glitter Accent, and it is gorgeous. It's almost like a glittery copper color, and I thought it just would make the most beautiful shimmering sand as that sun was going down. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape down that card base, or the card panel, I should say, tape down the mask that we created, with the Rick Rack die, and then I'm using this zigzag stencil that I had in my stash. Now I'm taping that down as well, and then I'm just going to use this palette knife and spread it on just like you would spread on embossing paste or mousse. And I'm just putting a little bit on that knife there and spreading it out through the stencil. I wish you could see on the video how beautiful and sparkly this is in real life. Just wait till I show you this reveal. Can you see all that sparkle? It's gorgeous. So I'm going to wash all of these parts right away because I don't want that 
glitter accent to dry on my stencil or on my work surface, I went ahead and just cleaned that off real quick. I cut out the rainbow text die with some copper paper that I had, and then I cut this blue paper that came in the kit with just a rectangle so that I could create a frame around this card panel. I decided against that yellow, so I'm putting that away, but here I'm going to use this stamp set, and it's called the Over the Rainbow Stamps, and I'm going to use a couple of stamps from this, and I'll heat emboss it on black paper using white embossing powder. So it's going to say, I'm over the rainbow for you. So here I'll use my Nouveau Clear Mark, which is a sticky ink, embossing ink pad. And I'll just stamp that on the black and white heat emboss it. I'm going to do the exact same thing for both of the sentiments, the I'm over the, and also the for you. So I'm not going to show you both of those, but it's the similar process here. I'll heat that with my heat tool till it's all melted. I love watching embossing powder melt. Still one of my favorite things. So here you can see both of those sentiments embossed and cut out. And now we're in the home stretch. But before we attach that frame, I thought it would be great to use a little white gel pen and add some dots between where the water meets the sparkling sand. It's difficult to see in this video, but it does create a nice transition between those two areas. And now we can add that frame. And I'm going to use this Scotch 3M foam tape. I did have to cut it in half so that it would fit on the frame. And I put it all the way around, and now I'm going to attach it to the panel. You can see uh, there's a little bit of that panel sticking out on the side, so I did trim that out. And now I'm going to add the I'm over the for you with some also some foam tape. So the black sentiment portions will be on foam tape. And then the rainbow, I'm just going to use this multimedia mat to attach. I like this because it does dry clear and matte, so it's not shiny if you happen to get any outside of the die. And here's the little dot over the eye. I did end up moving the I'm over the sentiment up just a little bit because I felt like it was just a little too low and here I'm going to move that up actually right now. And I put this on a top fold card base using some Nouveau liquid adhesive. I have really enjoyed this adhesive. It came in the Hedgehog Hollow tools hamper. So if you have that or if you try this glue, it, it really works well. So I hope you enjoyed this card today. It's sparkly, it's beautiful, and it's a fun new way to use those dies. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.